Most uh, importantly, to be a linebacker, it, it, you know, strength and speed play a major part in there, but you have to have, I guess, the, the, the intangible of, of toughness. And people like to talk about, you know, toughness being the, I guess you say the badass in the room, but it's not really that. It's about, you know, you're back against the wall, and you're gonna fight your way out. You know, you're having that ability to be hungry for the ball, be hungry to, to make a play, to shut down whatever the opponent is trying to do against you. It's, it's something that's hard to teach. You either got it or you don't have it. You gotta have heart more than anything. And then of course, athletic ability, you know, speed and strength play a major part in them. If you don't have heart, you're not gonna, you're not gonna play at a division one level. If I want something, I'm going to go out and get it. And I walk in here every day and I look at the pictures on the wall. You know, it gets me going. It reminds me of what I'm here to achieve. And um, I won't be happy until I get my picture on the wall in there um, and until I have a, a pro card. And I'm, I'm among the best of the best. One thing you're taught in the military is to adapt and overcome and you know I've had multiple obstacles in my life and hurdles to you know to bound and changes that I had to adapt to and, and, and make it work and uh, I always set my goals high and you know I'm the type of person that don't tell me I can't do something I don't believe can't should be in a man's vocabulary that's one word I don't want to hear uh, don't tell me you can't do something and don't tell me I can't do something because I'm just going to go out there and, and prove you wrong. You know, Steve Jobs once said, uh, the people that are crazy enough believe that they can change the world are exactly the ones that change the world. And that's, I'm a strong believer in that. I'm crazy enough to believe I can achieve something that others tell me that it can't be done. I guess anytime you're doing negatives, I mean, you're, you're taking all momentum out of it. And then he's got a one second pause in there. So it's almost like a dead stop you're going from you know, where you're supporting the weight on a dead stop, suppressing it off your chest, you know, after four seconds of fighting, basically gravity, you know, you sent it on the, on the bar, so, that's, I like it. <laughs> You tell me it can't be done, I'm going to go out there and try to do it. And right now, my goal is not to just compete, um, working with Kyle Kavner, who is my trainer. Um, my goal right now, because I've set my sights on the ultimate prize, and that's to, I don't want to just compete, I want to destroy it. I want to destroy this. Um, I don't have aspirations to just do shows and and you know another hobby. Um, at my age, you know I'm not old. I'm 32, but I don't really have time for hobbies. You know everything I've I've ever done in life, it's been at the highest level, and I I've, I've chose to pursue I guess the the highest achievement in, in whatever I did, and, and I, I don't feel like this is going to be any different, um, or this should be any different. Let's go like one rep before failure, which is like 95, 90% failure. Okay. Rack it with the chain, take the chains off. Just the barbell and you and three plates on each side. Okay. Um, that one I want you to go to absolute failure. All right. I'll assist you on a couple of contractions, but always control it. All right. And then we'll throw the bands on here to assist you for a few more reps. Okay. So we never change the weight on the bar, but we are changing the amount of resistance. Uh -huh. and it, and support added to the chain pulling it off. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So it's not like a superior way yeah. to drop set something. It just adds a little bit more to it. Okay. And uh, it's just it's fun and it makes you hurt, so it makes me feel good. <laughs> you hear this? <laughs> if I want something, I'm gonna go out and get it. So right now it's you know, my, my goal right now is to compete in my first show, which will be uh, I believe the better bodies in April, uh, depending date subject to change. Um, and I'm only going to compete in that show is if I'm if I'm at a a certain size that I feel like I can go out there and destroy it. If I'm not there, then I'm not going to compete. I'll wait until I get there um, because, like I said, I have aspirations of of being the best, not you know just 
being like everybody else or being average because that's the that's my biggest fear is to be average. Good. Come on. Another. 